And when you say you tweaked a few things at first, like the second half, can you be a bit more specific? Or? Uh, yeah, we, we were just a couple of positional movements in, in terms of our build-up play and, and also without the ball. Yeah. They tend to do the same movements all the time with the ball. We, we weren't sure. We haven't seen much footage of them. Um, there were talks that they might play a back three or a back four. So when we saw the way they settled uh, and then some of their movements, um, it was just making sure that we were in the right position, uh, particularly in those out-pressing moments and also with the ball as well. We needed to uh, positionally change a few things too. Marco, Gassini Yengi playing him sort of more wide, what's the reasoning behind that one? He's a great athlete. He's a fantastic 1v1 player. Do you think he might, sorry, do you think he might be better potentially as a 9? He plays a lot. Yeah. He played with two 9s. And uh, I think we'll, our balance was better with him at wide. And uh, there's nothing final for him. If you've watched his games, particularly on the Roos in the off-season, he plays. So he's willing to do whatever it takes. Um, he's worked extremely hard because that in the end. He's never had a full pre season, so we, we guide him through the pre season and he that hasn't missed a beat. Every single session in front of up. And he changed him in his mentality as well. I know there's a lot of talk about Cass, but you know, Cass has missed a lot of games in the last four or five years. Um, and we value him highly at this football club. And, and so we put together a program for him. Extremely professional, very intelligent young man. Like I said, he'll, he'll do whatever he takes for his team. Whether we play two up front or we play one up front. And the team more generally, does the performance need to lift for next week, do you think? Like based on that, are you going to get a result next week if it doesn't, if it doesn't lift? <laughs> that's, that's the plan. I mean, we, 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 we put a plan together to try and win every game. But like I said, that will, that'll take a lot of confidence away from that. You know, three points were very solid. Very solid defensively. Everybody understood their roles and responsibilities. The energy was there. They worked extremely hard for each other. And like I said, a very professional performance. Ninko put in virtually a, a complete shift there. We haven't seen that too many times in the A-League the last year or two. Was that always the plan, to, to play him late, to deepen the game? No, Ninko's a special footballer. You know, I think there's a lot, a lot of talk in the off-season about him. You know, um, he's very determined to, to make people eat their words. Or, you know, it's, it's fantastic the more that's said about him the better because he's very motivated. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a new lease of life for him. He's starting at zero again. So you know, there's a lot of talks from, from around the place that he's a 30 minute player. I think he, he shot a lot of people up today. That's only the first game as well. He's only gonna get better and stronger for us as far as I'm concerned. He's still one of the best, if not the best teams in the league. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Good win as his first just gentleman mentioned, but it, there weren't, Convinc every moment wasn't too convincing. How is that going? To, how are you going to assess it with the boys for next week, knowing that victory will be a strong opponent? They did show that to Sydney last night, and they'll be hard to beat down. We weren't there. convincing. Well, you got the win, but there, there were moments that the with the errors crept in that you won't want to do that to be, with, with victory next week, because they'll be a strong every, opponent. Every team is going to have its moments. I don't think anyone is looking as convincing as what you said. Even victory didn't look convincing. They considered two goals last night. Could have been a few more. Sydney had a lot of chances against them. So I'm not sure what your question is. We're at home, we didn't concede a goal. Billy got a shot on. Lawrence Thomas didn't have a save to make. I, I thought for a first, first up game where no team is gonna look convincing at this stage of the season, I thought we were one of the best looking teams in round one. And I'm not even being biased.